Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So, annoyingly for me, maybe not so for you, uh, I just filmed this whole video review um, and then my camera packed in. So here we go, take two, uh, having had some already. Uh, let's see how it goes this time. So today I am reviewing a very special beer. This is a 55% ABV beer by Brewdog. It is indeed end of history. So for those who don't know, this beer is 55%. It is a freeze distilled blonde Belgian ale with Scottish nettles and juniper berries. Um, the background to this beer is Brewdog started with Tactical Nuclear Penguin at 32%, which was their freeze distilled uh, stout. Essentially it was Tokyo then freeze distilled to get to 32%. Uh, German brewery then came out with a uh, ice block at 39%. Brewdog then uh, increased this with a uh, freeze distilled IPA, which was of course Sink the Bismarck at 41%. German brewery responded with a 43% ice block uh, and Brew Brewdog decided that, that enough was enough. Uh, they were gonna produce the beer to end this uh, ongoing battle with the German brewery. So they produced the 55% uh, end of history. So I got this beer, I was very fortunate through getting within the te top 10 referrals in Equity Punk 5. Uh, top 10 referrals all got a bottle of end of history. So there was 10 then and 11 in the original round. So only ever 21 bottles of this ever produced. And in doing so, I promised that if I received the bottle, I would drink it taste it and give a review. So here we go, this is that review. So without further ado, let's get the beer in the glass and see what the appearance, aroma and taste is like. Beer in the glass. It's a beautiful golden, uh, dark golden colour. So very similar to a whiskey that's potentially been aged for a few years, uh, well several years, in a whiskey barrel. Um, you can maybe just make out the lacing on the glass. The alcohol is really sticking to the side. Um, but yeah, beautiful. Obviously no carbonation, no head at all to speak, but you wouldn't really expect one at, at 55%. So let's get on and see what the aroma's like. Wow. So this has been warming up in the glass for a bit of time. Um, you get a lot of that kind of cherry fruit toffee, uh, burnt toast type aroma coming through. Very reminiscent of uh, the Death or Glory, if anyone's tried that. But unlike uh, Death or Glory, which is very uh, all fruits, the alcohol really comes through in this one. Um, you get that straight up your nose, those alcohol fumes come straight off the beer. But yeah, there's a bit of, um, I don't think it's been in any oak barrels, but there's definitely a bit of wood oak smell coming off of it. But mostly just sort of dried fruit, raisins, toffee. So yeah, let's dive on in and have a drink. Cheers. Wow, again, there's a bit of aniseed and licorice, um, a little bit of that kind of uh, cherry raisin type flavour, but the first thing that hits you is you get a tingle on your lips and a bit of that sort of aniseed uh, raisin type taste and then really bitter on the back of the throat, that kind of lingering bitterness with a bit of uh, licorice. Uh, at the end and then it burns as it goes down the throat. You can tell that the alcohol is in this. Not getting much of the nettles necessarily or the juniper berries, although there's definitely a, a fruity taste to it. It's not like whiskey where it's spirit and oak and wood. There's a fruity, uh, raisiny plum type character to it but the overriding sense is the bitterness 
that lingers kind of at the back of your throat uh, and then the, the slight burn as it goes down um, but beautiful beer it, it kind of reminds me uh, the aroma of death or glory which was a belgian ale um, but wasn't freeze distilled but on the taste it's very much like um uh brew dogs uh triple distilled jackhammer uh hop shot because you get that kind of real bitterness on the back which is that the freeze distilling concentrating down those hop flavors absolutely over the moon that i got an opportunity to try it i hope that this video has been interesting to those of you who've taken the time to watch it um, as promised through the Brewdog forum, I would do a tasting of this beer. I wouldn't save it, I would drink it and here you go. Uh, I'm going to share the remaining bits with a few friends, um, see if they have any different opinions on it. But yeah, brilliant beer, well done Brewdog, 55% beer. It's amazing to me actually that it's drinkable, um, but it, yeah, it's an amazing beer, so cheers.